I'm sending you the location now. Hello and welcome back to GTA 5. I'm David in Ark and today we are uh, loading up the family friendly mod. Whoa, once again, it's been a while since uh, I've been in the mod. And uh, in fact, uh, for a little while, it wouldn't actually work because uh, script hook got updated. And then, you know, that once script hook or excuse me, once the game gets updated, then they have to, you have to wait for a script hook to get updated. And um, I actually had, was using a mod manager, the GTA 5 mod manager, and that doesn't seem to work anymore. So I had to play around and make sure that uh, I was able to get the mod to work in the game. So finally, here we are. And today what I'm doing is I am driving around as a taxi driver. Now, one of the things about the uh, family-friendly mod is that I'm using it just as it comes. So you have no weapons, uh, there's no radio, there's no police cars, there's no wanted level. Um, you can do really cool things like, wait a minute, let me do this. There you go. <laughs> Nobody dies in the game. You can't actually run over people. And you notice that he actually jumped off his bike. Um, but uh, yeah, there's no there's no uh, ragdoll physics. There's no... Uh, killing people there's no taking over cars nothing um this is very family friendly um so uh i do have a passenger in my car that i just picked up when we started the video and i am going to show you uh something else here in a minute once we once we kind of get down here uh, i need to find some people because one of the things that uh, we looked at before and, and it's been a long time so uh, a lot of you may have never even seen this mod before uh, but uh, one of the things you can do is when you honk your horn, that will call any nearby people to come and get in your car. And one of the funny things about, I, I don't think I drove a taxi the last time I was looking at this. Um, but what's funny is you'll get people who jump in your cab, even though they're not paying the fare. So <laughs> it's like, it's, it's really, really weird. Uh, but I got to get down into the into the populace here to to be able to show you that Oops, sorry sorry didn't mean to crash into you notice that also with the family friendly mod there is no dialogue so you don't get any of the swearing you don't get any of the uh, banter uh, I, I will tell you it makes for kind of a quiet game i mean you know there's no radio and no banter so basically you're driving around so it makes it for kind of a weird little experience if you're used to playing regular gta but Nevertheless, uh, it is family friendly. Uh, so one of the things that I wholeheartedly recommend is if you are a parent uh, and you're interested in getting the game, whoops, sorry, you're interested in getting the game uh, for your child, but you don't actually want them to take part in the violent aspects of GTA, then man, just you can get GTA, you can uh, install the family friendly free roaming mod i think is the official name for it and uh, i'll have a link for it down in the description um but it, it's a way that you you're you know you can play the game and it, it has none of the violent aspects in fact i'll show you here in a minute here we go oops so well, i bumped him i was trying to send him up in the air um one of the things that uh i'll show you here in a minute is um we're taking a shortcut look look i can't even kill animals so there you go it is completely family friendly. Uh, and when I tumble down, you'll notice that the car gets some scratches, but you don't, uh, the cars will not explode. They don't wreck. You just, you know, pick up and go, man. <laughs> I'm going to lose my tips, that's for sure. Um, but anyhow, I'll show you uh, also how you. Uh, okay, family friendly does not make you drive any better. Just going to throw that out there. Uh, but I'll, sh I'll show you how you switch cars. Just so you can see how that works once we get to our destination. Although I was hoping to see some people. I guess because it's late at night. There's nobody out. What's up with that? Where are you people? I was trying to put some people in my car. I got a YouTube video I'm making and you're not helping me whatsoever. Alright. So we pull up just like normal. And the dude will get out. There you go. No tips. But, you know, hey. I, I got a fare. Okay, so the way you switch cars is uh, you just pull up next to a car and you hit N. And boom. 
I am now in the nearest car, which I don't know if that's what the N is supposed to stand for, but I'll take that anyway. So N gets you in the nearest car, and, and it works no matter what. So, like, I can be driving down the road, and if I suddenly hit N, boom, I'm now in the truck because that's the vehicle that I, <laughs> that I just jumped into. So you could just jump, boom, car to car to car. Now, the other thing uh, that you can do, and I want to... Uh, I have to find, ideally I would like to find a vehicle that has more, has multiple people in it, um, and just jump into that vehicle, but that's not necessarily going to happen. Of course I'm recording at night, of course I am, because why wouldn't I be? Oh, you know what though? I, I, can, I can go down to the pier. Let's go to the pier, there'll be people down there. Looking for people at the pier, so they can get right into my car. Oh, there's, there's the beach. There's probably people at the beach. Are there people at the beach? Let me see. Yeah, there's people at the beach. Here, come here. I mean, this is only a two-door. So what happens with the two doors, you can only have, you know, one person next to you. Even though, I don't know. Well, I guess technically this has a back seat. Okay, so here's what you do. You roll up to the beach, and you honk your horn. And they all come running over, and as soon, as, soon as someone gets in then they all walk away. Now, if you had a four-door... Here, let me... Oops, sorry, I hit the wrong key. Okay, so now I'm in a four-door. So now when I hit E, everybody will try to occupy seats. Now, if somebody hops in and gets in a seat somebody else wanted, then they'll walk away. But now you can see I've got all my seats filled up, which is cool, but that's not really what I'm after here. I'll, uh, let, me, let me get up on the road here for a minute. Because... Uh, don't mind me. We're just up here because one of the things you can do is you can use the B key and um, That will let you switch positions. So you see out you see now I am a passenger And so I can even change my view like normal and I can look around. Hey, how's it going guys? How you doing doing good? I can't really see the dude behind me So you know what I can actually hit B and change my seat and you'll notice everybody else moves seats. Oh, you got a little problem with your hair there, buddy. And I, I feel your pain. But you can change seats. How cool is that? That is so awesome, man. So now I'm a, I feel pretty short here, though. But now I'm a passenger. I have no idea where that dude's going. And B will let you change your seats, but it will not let you take over driving. I think for that you have to hit N while you're in the car and see now... I'm in here and everybody moves around and I'm going to change my view and so now I have passengers in my car. Hey passengers! Do, 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 do. Where am I going? I forgot where I'm going. Oh it doesn't matter. We're fine. We're just going to drive down the road here a little ways. I did say the family friendly mod does not improve your driving right? Okay here we go. Oh there's the Jesus dude. So now that we're at the pier, I can hit E, and everybody gets out. <laughs> and then if I hit E again, different people will come. Some of them are the same ones that we're already in. It might be other new people. But it's, again, as soon as they get in, everybody, you know, walks away. Ah, man, I couldn't get in your car. Get out. Drive a little bit. Oh, sorry, dude. Here, get in. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is truly one of the craziest mods ever. Look, and people are still running. In fact, if I, if I, look, this dude right here, look, you see that guy? He is running for the car. He is still trying to get a seat. Come on. Oh, no, you can't because I'm full. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Now I'm in a taxi. That dude took over my car. How about that? Okay, I need a job. Dispatch. Got any passengers you can throw my way? Yeah, right, man. Too far from you. Cool. You the address now. Great. I'm I'll take it. it. He's behind me. No. Oh, wait. Here. Come on. Perfect. They're right around the corner. From Great. Me. Thanks. So, as you can see, I have people in my taxi. And we're going to go pick up this person right here. Come on in, dude. Oh, wait. You didn't have to get out. Oh, well. 
Oh wait, no. <gasps> If anything's available, uh, I, got I didn't know he was going to get out. <laughs> I can do it. Send Oops. Me the info. Okay, so it's definitely not uh, flawless. No, listen. Yeah, all you people, sorry. I got a job to do. I got to go pick up a passenger who's not going to get out when I honk the horn. By the way, they don't get out if you're moving. No! Uh, I forgot. Yeah, call just came in. I'm on my way. Well, that worked out. An accident. Whoops, sorry, dude. Okay, Didn't mean to going. bump you off the road. All right, here we go. Okay, I promise. This time we're going to pick up a passenger and get him to a destination. No more messing around. Ooh, look at you. All right, here we go. Is this you? Thanks for riding. You didn't pay me. All right. Gotta make a U-turn. Well, I hope you're having a good day today. I, I certainly am. Oh, excuse me. I'll take you to your destination. You're not real talkative on... Whoops. I, c I can understand. Been a long day. Sun's coming up. Been out all night. You're a little tired. Not much in the mood for conversating. I got you. I understand. Can smell what you're cooking. Whoa. We don't need to pay attention to traffic laws. It's GTA. Just because there's no violence doesn't mean we can't. Whoa! Sorry. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a mark on my car. Woo, you got a long way to go, my friend. Look at there. Look at the sun coming up. Oh, it's beautiful. What a beautiful day, huh? Gonna be a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I forget about it. Whoa! Haha, <laughs> you doing? Yahoo! We're turning here. Oh man, it's gonna be a cool drift, but no, not at all. Alright, let's see. There should be a yellow mark somewhere around here. There you are. We're here. Thanks for the ride, lady. Thanks for the ride. Uh, you. Uh, half-open, shirtless wonder guy. Oh, wait. Do you have a shirt on? I can't tell what you got. Anyway, do you want to get out? Because that'd be awesome. Hey, dispatch. Nice. You got any work for me? See ya. Timing. I got a customer for you right now. You got sure, a customer? All right, let's do it. He's right back here. Thanks, Brad. Thanks. Location should be up on your GPS. Yeah, it is, but I had to close my door. Yeah, there we go. Cruising around here. Oh, wait. Am I? Where am I? Oh, sorry. I was looking at the map. Oh, sorry. Once again, looking at the map. <laughs> don't don't look at the map when you're driving. That's not a good combination. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry. Let's come down here. There we go. Yeah, I I, I see you over here at the diner. Sorry, listen, I gotta pick up my ride. There we go. Alright, driving to the destination. Two and a half miles. Alright, dude. We are on our way. Ooh, I wonder if you could Ooh, what happens if you get a bus? Whoa, 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 you know what? Fine, I'll do I'll do the fares. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna do the fares. Give me the bus. I want to take over the bus. Yeah! Oh my gosh. So, what happens? Oh, we got to take the bus into town. We got to go find a bunch of people. I want to see what happens when you take the bus into a group of people and you honk the horn. Can they all get in? Because, I mean, you know, there's lots of seats. Oh, yeah. We got, we got to try this. Let's see. Where am I going to go? Let's go this way, I guess. Oh. oh, wait, this this might not be handy at all. Should we go to the horse races. Anybody there? No? All right. I got some fancy cars at the horse races. People winning lots of money and whatnot. Actually, I wonder if I stop right here on the corner. All right. Okay, they all got out. So now, 
Get out. Get out. Okay, now. Uh, come on, people. Oh, on the bus, when you honk, they automatically get in. Okay, I see. Wait, is he coming on? He's just coming on. Oh. Oh, oh. There you go. Anybody else? No? This is really... This is a very bizarre... <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's what happens. On the bus, a bunch of people just get in. Oh, that is so cool. Anybody else coming? You coming? There we go. Yeah. The door's not closing. There we go. Yeah, we got us a decent load of folks here, man. Okay, so now my question is, because, you know, we got to try this. Get me in the first person view, driving the bus. But now, excuse me, now I'm going to switch seats. Bing. <laughs> now, this poor woman who's never driven a bus in her life is now in charge of all of us. Hey, folks. How's it going? I don't know what you're doing on your tablet there. Playing a little GTA or something? No? no. Okay. Let me, let me keep moving around. Oh, my gosh. This is... So, I will just literally keep moving back toward the back of the bus... All right, so let's get to the back. There we go. Hey, you, you've got the same... You're doing the same thing on your tablet that he's doing. Are you guys doing multiplayer? Is that, is that what happened? No? Oh, that is so cool, man. <laughs> hey, don't mind us. We're just riding in the back of the bus. All right, so... So what if, what if I hit E here? No, nothing. Okay, because I'm not driving. Oh my gosh. Oh, now I'm on the other side of the back of the bus. Hey, I just swapped places with you. You don't care. Nobody cares. Nobody says anything in this town. Now we're back at the front. You, I don't think you were on the bus before. Wait a minute. I don't think some of these people were on the bus before. Where did you guys come from? I don't know. You might have been. Alright, here we go though. We're going to take back over again. We're driving. There it is. Hey, I'm trying to look at the people. Hey, sorry I took your job. Okay, you don't want me to look. I don't know what the problem there is. Oh, that is so cool. Sorry. Excuse me. Actually, you're fine. Your cars are all fine. Alright, let's pull up here. Pretend this is a bus stop. Everybody out. No, I said everybody out. Are you all going? Just taking turns? Is that how this works? Yes. They all have to take turns. She's stuck in the door. There you go. Is that, is that better? No, you're still stuck walking. What? What is happening? You know what I don't remember is how do I how do I get out of a vehicle? Just hit N? No. How, how, how do I get... Oh, I, okay. I can hit F. I was like, I don't remember how to get out of a vehicle. Oh my gosh, this... That is so, so cool. And, and also, you can't, like, punch or anything. I can jump. Oh, that is so cool. I love family-friendly just because so much fun. So if I come up to a car and I hit F, I can't take the car if someone else is in it. So does that mean I can take a parked car? Let's see. I need a parked car. All right. So now I'm in the parking garage, and I want this car right here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So I don't have to smash windows or anything. If it's a parked car, I just walk up, open the door, and I can have the car. That's a beautiful thing, really. There is a way. Oh, B. So if I hit B, I am now a passenger, and now I can take over. <laughs> <laughs> without actually all right so there you go so b will get you into an occupied car and then you can hit n and it'll let you take over the car yeah Ooh, we out of here oh that is man I, i've forgotten 
how much uh, you can do in this mod. And again, I just have the mod set up for the uh, generic, you know, however it comes. There is an INI file that you can edit. Oh, I want that. Yeah, give me the Infernus. Uh, but there's an INI file that you can edit that will let you enable things. Like you can enable the police if you want. You can enable weapons if you want. You can enable ragdolling. You can enable uh, uh, stealing cars. You know, all that kind of stuff. So there's all kinds of... How, how high can we make people fly? Holy cow, man. Wait a minute. This is a thing. Uh, oh, well, it's, it's a button. Yeah, I, I, I'm not trying to actually... Oh my gosh, what is the matter with my car? Boom! Off the road. Boom! <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, by the way, there's another thing too. If you uh, drive off into the water, boink, it resets you. So you can't drown. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen the beach lifeguard truck before. That's cool. Hmm. Squirrel. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to break your bench. Do I have a passenger? Yes, I do. Ah. That way, there you go. I'll leave a link down to the mod in the description below. You can check it out for yourself. And uh, I believe on the mods page, it tells you uh, what to do. But basically, you have to get the script hook 5 and put that in your GTA folder. And then you put uh, the family friendly mod. There's two files that come with it. You put that in your GTA folder and away you go. Now remember that a modified GTA folder will not be allowed to get on to uh, online play. So you want to make sure that you remove those files before you try anything online. Or the recommended way to do this is to actually make a copy of your GTA 5 folder. Uh, it, if you have GTA 5 from Steam then in your Steam Apps common folder, you're just going to copy the GTA 5 folder and rename uh, the copy as something like no mods or whatever you want to call it, and then put the mods in your regular GTA 5 folder. And then when you want to do multiplayer, then you have to rename both of the folders. So it gets a little weird. Um, if you want, I'll do a tutorial on that. Just let me know down in the comment section below. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. You got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Yahoo! <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time on GTA 5. Yeah! Cool. Sorry. Get out of my car. Okay, it's actually it's your car. <laughs>